After traversing vast distances across the country and laboring under the employment of another's relative, my husband Anton harbored a long-standing desire to establish his own small business through diligent saving and prudent financial management, including securing a modest loan, we meticulously crafted a business plan, weighing every conceivable advantage and drawback. Leveraging my background as a proficient economist, I harbored a quiet confidence that our endeavors would ultimately flourish, securing a plot of land within an industrial precinct, with aspirations to eventually acquire it, we procured the requisite equipment, enlisted the services of a couple of commendable individuals, and inaugurated our very own automobile service station, word of our establishment spread like wildfire. Initially attracting clientele predominantly comprised of acquaintances from the trucking community, which subsequently burgeoned through referrals and word-of-mouth recommendations, one particular encounter left an indelible impression on me, a weathered truck driver, piloting an ordinary tractor-trailer rig that had traversed countless miles, disembarked from his cab, his hands weathered from toil, yet his eyes exuding an extraordinary warmth capable of thawing even the chilliest November day, he sought assistance with a wheel repair, while Anton diligently attended to his tasks. The driver retreated to a nearby cafe for sustenance, upon emerging, laden with parcels of provisions, he kindly offered Anton a token of appreciation before retiring to his cab for a brief respite. Moments later, a tire service trailer arrived to transport him onward, accompanied by an imposing feline companion with a striking striped coat, who seemed every bit a part of the team, intrigued, my husband inquired about the origins of the animal, prompting the driver to regale us with a remarkable tale. Many years ago, amidst my deep fondness for my work and the camaraderie of fellow truck drivers, I relished our gatherings in cafes and gas stations, where we'd exchange tales of travel, life anecdotes, and humorous anecdotes. One day, while tending to a minor issue with my aging vehicle by the roadside, I heard plaintive meows emanating from nearby bushes, investigating further, I discovered what I initially mistook for a kitten, a red cub with spots and a short tail, to my astonishment. It turned out to be a tiny lynx, just a month or two old, seemingly injured in a recent collision with a car without hesitation, I resolved to offer aid to this helpless creature, rushing to the nearest veterinary clinic, I sought guidance from traffic police inspectors en route, who graciously escorted us with flashing lights to our destination. The veterinarians tended to the lynx cub's injuries and provided essential medications. Over time, the lynx cub thrived under my care, evolving into a majestic and graceful companion, a guardian angel by my side. Together, we embarked on countless journeys across Russia, spanning from Kaliningrad to Sochi and from Murmansk to Vladivostok, our bond transcended mere companionship, we were kindred spirits, sharing the confines of my motorhome which doubled as our home on wheels, despite my marital status, my wife's presence was seldom felt, much like neighbors in separate apartments, we occupied our own spaces and pursued our own paths, when my daughter grew up, our bond endured, enriching both our lives in ways I could never have. Imagined in the absence of grandchildren, my feline companion and I embarked on countless journeys across the country, nestled within the cabin of my vehicle, she exhibited a timid demeanor, likely a remnant of her past experiences with human enclosures, rarely venturing out except for necessary breaks, we sought solace in secluded spots, where both people and animals felt safer. Within the confines of our mobile home, she had her own two bowls, one for water and the other for the food I prepared. For myself during rest stops, consisting of potatoes, buckwheat, sausages, pearl barley, and stew, together, we found comfort in each other's company, her presence easing the loneliness that sometimes gripped me, when we traveled, my loyal companion, Rio, would curl up at my feet while I drove, her warmth and affection a constant source of solace, occasionally, I'd place a pillow on the passenger seat for her, ensuring her comfort as she gazed out of the window, observing the passing landscape. Remarkably intelligent, she had a particular fondness for music, especially Russian folk lyrical songs, which she would listen to with rapt attention. Rio proved herself time and again, saving me from bandit raids during the tumultuous 90s. Together, we faced various trials and tribulations, emerging victorious each time, despite the challenges, we shared an enduring bond, spanning two decades. A remarkable feat for any feline when we both aged, her fur graying alongside my own, the thought of 
Life without her seemed unimaginable, she was my faithful companion, my confidant, and my protector, a cherished presence throughout our shared adventures had always known that this day would eventually arrive, and I suspect my lady understood it too, so, when she left me, she did so with a parting gift, a replacement for herself, a miracle embodied in the form of a cat who happily nestled into fresh white linens. As my lady began to show signs of yielding to her advancing years, I couldn't help but recall a childhood belief that cats often depart before their own passing, yet, even though the lynx was a wild creature, it seemed she followed a similar pattern, gradually, I noticed my lady's excursions growing longer, it filled me with dread each time she wandered off into the parking lots, fearing she might not return, but return she always did, until one day she didn't, completing my tasks, I waited patiently, sounding the horn in a futile attempt to summon her back, as minutes. Stretched into an agonizing wait, despair began to settle in, then, unexpectedly, she reappeared by the roadside, behaving strangely, as if beckoning me to follow, I hesitated at first, but sensing her urgency, I trailed after her, through thickets of reeds and along shallow ditches, she led me to a cardboard box nestled in the undergrowth, inside lay three kittens, one still clinging to life. The cruelty of humanity pierced me to the core, two lives had already been lost to indifference, without. A moment's hesitation, I resolved to save the surviving kitten, despite its frozen and fragile state I hurried to rescue the tiny kitten from the dirt, gently cleaning him while my lady nestled him under her warm belly, with tender care, she began to groom him, removing grains of sand and soothing him with soft purrs, I found solace in her maternal instincts and reassured myself that everything would be alright. Knowing I needed to address his nutritional needs, racing to the nearest parking lot, I procured milk from the pharmacy along with pipettes and bottles, thankful for the convenience at hand, thus began my journey of nurturing this precious gift. Two months later, my dear lady departed for the feline paradise beyond the rainbow, leaving behind a legacy of love and compassion, in her absence, I assumed the role of a surrogate mother to the resilient kitten, whom I named Reed in homage to the reeds where he was found, despite my initial misgivings about his name, I found it fitting. For this wild-hearted creature, Reed soon revealed his penchant for whiting dogs, prompting me to indulge his tastes wherever possible. When the elderly driver concluded his tale, reflecting on the passage of time and the changes it wrought, I pondered my own future, age and health no longer permitted me to continue life on the road, yet the prospect of settling down felt foreign and uncertain, however, fate intervened when Anton, impressed by both my story and my loyal companion, extended a warm invitation for employment, embracing the opportunity. We sealed the deal with a handshake, knowing that Reed would also be welcomed as a valued member of our team, thus, as one chapter of my life draws to a close, a new one begins, one filled with promise and possibility, that's all about the first story and now let's watch another similar story, sometimes, even the wildest of creatures find themselves in need of assistance, one day. A man encountered a heartrending scene as he stumbled upon a crying lynx cub and its gravely injured mother, the remarkable chain of events that followed left an indelible mark on him. On a crisp winter morning, Leonardo set out from his cabin, nestled amidst a pristine natural landscape, being an avid wildlife photographer, he cherished these icy months, often capturing breathtaking images without venturing far, when he returned home, envisioning the comfort of hot cocoa and a crackling fire, fate intervened. Echoes of distressed meows pierced the serene atmosphere, drawing Leonardo's attention, following. The sound, he stumbled upon a sight close to his heart, a lone lynx cub, wailing in the snow, instinctively, he scanned the surroundings and eventually spotted the cub's family nearby, nestled behind a bush, the mother lynx lay injured, her lifeblood staining the snow, Leonardo's initial urge to capture the scene through his lens was swiftly replaced by a sense of urgency and compassion, approaching cautiously. He discovered a den sheltering the rest of the lynx family, with the mothers. Conditioned dire, moved by the plight of the lynx family, Leonardo abandoned his camera and focused on aiding them, the cub's cries served as a poignant reminder of the fragile balance between humanity and nature, prompting him to act swiftly, however. Despite her injuries, Leonardo could see that the mother lynx was still breathing, determined to help her. He swiftly improvised a makeshift bandage using a scarf to stem the bleeding, however, he knew this was just a temporary fix, she would require extensive care, 
medication, and time to recover fully realizing the urgency of the situation, Leonardo made the decision to transport the injured lynx to his cabin for proper treatment, however, this meant also bringing along the lynx cubs assessing the situation, he understood that coaxing the entire family to follow him would be futile, though the mother showed no signs of aggression towards him. Getting the cubs to cooperate was another matter entirely, watching when the lynx cubs playfully darted around the den, Leonardo realized that time was of the essence, he couldn't afford to spend precious moments trying to corral them all, with a heavy heart, he knew he had to prioritize the safety of the lynx family, even if it meant upsetting the cubs in the process, hurriedly, Leonardo dashed back to his cabin, grabbing a large backpack and a blanket, equipping himself with thick gloves to protect against the cubs sharp claws, he carefully gathered each playful cub and secured them in. The backpack, in total, there were seven lively cubs, a testament to the mother lynx's dedication despite her injuries ensuring there were no other cubs left behind, Leonardo hoisted the backpack onto his shoulders, fully aware of the challenges that lay ahead, yet, fueled by a sense of duty and compassion, he embarked on the daunting journey to provide the lynx family with the care and safety they desperately needed. With the backpack wriggling on his back, Leonardo trudged through the snow. Grateful for its assistance in containing the lively lynx cubs, with his hands free, he gently wrapped the injured mother lynx in the blanket, mindful of her fragile state, when he carried her towards his cabin, he hoped she wouldn't awaken and startle herself, given the substantial loss of blood she had endured upon reaching home, Leonardo wasted no time in kindling the fire. Its warmth a soothing embrace for the injured lynx, a pang of sadness washed over him as he remembered his beloved. Giant breed dog, recently departed due to old age, the empty cage, a tangible reminder of his loss, now served a practical purpose, without hesitation, he released the lynx cubs into the safety of the spacious enclosure, sparing his home from the chaos of seven energetic wild kittens equipped with his first aid kit, Leonardo returned to tend to the mother lynx, gently uncovering her wounds, he grimaced at their severity, recognizing the telltale signs of a predator attack, it seemed likely that, a confrontation with a wolf had resulted in her injuries, further underscoring the perilous existence of wild animals in their natural habitat despite her harrowing ordeal, the lynx had managed to evade her attacker, likely using her agility to ascend the trees and escape, Leonardo marveled at the feline's cunning survival instincts, grateful that the lynx cubs hadn't been present during the attack. Ensuring their safety, he watched as they frolicked in the dog cage, blissfully unaware of the danger their mother had faced drawing upon his military background and veterinary training, Leonardo embarked on the delicate task of treating the lynx's wounds, though deep, the injuries hadn't breached any vital organs, with meticulous care, he cleaned and sutured the wounds, administering antibiotics from his emergency veterinary stash, however, their remote location posed a challenge. The nearest sanctuary lay hours away, accessible only in fair weather conditions, aware that the lynx's survival hinged on her recovery, Leonardo monitored her closely when she stirred from unconsciousness, placing her gently with her cubs, he observed her maternal instinct kick in, a reassuring sign of her improving condition, her calm demeanor eased his worries, sparing her from potential self-harm in her efforts to escape, in addition to tending to her physical needs. Leonardo provided enrichment for the lynx family, repurposing his dog's toys to keep the kittens entertained, surprisingly, the wild felines took to the toys eagerly, their mother joining in the playful antics as she regained her strength, witnessing their progress, Leonardo marveled at the resilience of these majestic creatures, grateful for the opportunity to aid in their recovery. After observing the lynx and her kittens for several days, Leonardo noticed a restlessness in the mother. It was clear she no longer wished to be confined in the cage with her energetic offspring, recognizing their need for freedom and space. To Rome, Leonardo made the decision to return them to their natural habitat, securing the box to his skis, Leonardo transported the lynx family back to their burrow, a task he hadn't anticipated, with cautious steps, he opened the box, maintaining a safe distance to avoid startling the lynx when she emerged, he retreated slowly, ensuring she felt no threat from his presence. Though some of the kittens attempted to follow him, a gentle meow from their mother called them back, reaffirming her. Protective instinct, with weeks passed, Leonardo continued to monitor the lynx family, providing food near their burrow without disturbing them, 
it wasn't until he observed the mother grooming herself with a newfound vigor that he felt assured of their well-being, seeing her regain her independence filled him with a sense of accomplishment and relief, however, one morning, Leonardo was jolted from his sleep by a commotion at his doorstep, alarmed at first, he cautiously approached, fearing. Intruders, however, his apprehension quickly melted away as he realized the unexpected visitors were none other than the Lynx family he had rescued. Despite the early hour, their presence was met with joy rather than concern, their endearing charm eclipsing any inconvenience. In that moment, Leonardo couldn't help but marvel at the remarkable turn of events. What had begun as a rescue mission had come full circle, with the Lynx family returning to express their gratitude in the most unexpected, yet heartwarming manner, and though he hadn't anticipated their early morning visit. He couldn't deny the undeniable charm of his furry guests on that memorable day, Leonardo's heart swelled with happiness as he welcomed his unexpected visitors into his home, seven lively lynx kittens frolicked on his porch, their playful antics bringing a smile to his face, opening the windows and doors, he observed them through the protective mesh, marveling at their exuberance. Meanwhile, the mother lynx basked in the sun on the porch steps, enjoying a well-deserved respite from her maternal duties, Leonardo couldn't help but admire her strength and dedication, knowing the challenges she must have faced in caring for her energetic offspring, especially while recovering from her injuries. Grateful for his intervention, the Lynx family had chosen to express their gratitude by sharing this special moment with him, although Leonardo longed to join them outside. He understood the importance of maintaining a respectful distance, nevertheless, he seized the opportunity to capture the enchanting scene through his camera lens, snapping photos of the kittens when they tumbled and played with abandon, every corner of his porch became a playground for the lynx kittens, transforming his familiar furniture into makeshift jungle gyms, yet, Leonardo didn't mind the temporary chaos, witnessing their uninhibited joy was a reward in itself reflecting on the circumstances that brought them together. He couldn't help but feel a sense of awe and gratitude, had he not intervened, the fate of these precious creatures might have been drastically different, with the hours passed, the mother lynx roused from her nap and joined her offspring on the porch, curious to see what mischief they were up to, for Leonardo, this unexpected visit served as a poignant reminder of the interconnectedness between humans and wildlife, and the profound impact that acts of kindness can have on the lives of others. When the lynx family lingered on Leonardo's porch, he seized the opportunity to inspect. The mother's wounds more closely, to his relief, the stitches had dissolved, leaving behind a well-heeled scar that promised full recovery, already, a fine layer of fur was beginning to obscure the once visible injury, soon to be a mere memory of the perilous ordeal they had endured. Gathering the Lynx family together, Leonardo captured precious moments in a series of family photos, cherishing the bond they had formed through their shared experience, when they departed and returned. Intermittently, it became evident that the mother lynx held a deep appreciation for the sanctuary Leonardo had provided for her and her kittens, in the following year, the kittens grew and eventually ventured out on their own, leaving their mother behind, however, Leonardo occasionally spotted lynx lounging on his porch, a testament to the lasting impression his kindness had left on them. Though he couldn't be certain if they were the same kittens he had once rescued, he believed that they remembered the safety and warmth of his home, returning to it for solace and comfort, for Leonardo, witnessing the Lynx generations find solace in his home was a profound reminder of the enduring impact of a single act of kindness, their presence served as a testament to the ripple effect of compassion, spanning across generations and species alike as the story of the Lynx family came to a close. Leonardo reflected on the remarkable journey they had shared and the profound lesson it had taught. Him, through his selfless actions, he had not only saved lives but had also forged a bond that transcended boundaries, and as he bid farewell to his furry visitors, he knew that their legacy of resilience and gratitude would forever hold a special place in his heart.